All you need is the wind beneath your wings to make a positive impact in this world. And Malika Voss is proof that young people can influence their community and the world around them. And age should never be defined when your voice and actions should be heard. At the age of just 23 years old, Malika Voss is a National Geographic explorer, environmentalist, conservationist, adventure sports athlete, social entrepreneur, and a wildlife filmmaker. Malika Voss grew up in Goa, India, right next to the ocean. Goa is known for its long 70 mile coastline of beautiful sand and its windy beaches, and is a popular tourist destination for festivals, leisure, and water sports. In the interior region of Goa, low floors plateaus merge into the slopes of the Western Ghats. The Western Ghats is one of the 10 hottest biodiversity hotspots in the world. It has over 7,402 flowering plants, 139 mammal species, 508 bird species, 179 amphibians, 6,000 insect species, and it's likely many undiscovered life lives there too. At least 325 global species are in Western Gap today. Malika is the oldest daughter to a well-known local businessman, Mac Boz and his wife, Marusha, and their two sons. Malika Boz has achieved so much at a young age due to the support and entrepreneurial spirit of her family. She had their support for her to follow her passion of adventure sports, exploration, conservation, and rough terrain traveling. Malika started windsurfing, sailing, and horseback riding at a very young age. She practiced windsurfing for long hours to become a top three national level champion. One day, she spotted a beautiful whale surface next to her, and she was so fascinated by her experience, she wanted to explore more of the wonders beneath the ocean too. This led her to get her advanced Patty Dye Master certification at the age of 16. Her long hours in the ocean also made her see the first hand the horrendous effects that tourism has on marine life. Because of her passion for wildlife and outdoor adventures, her father's friend suggested her to submit for Students on Ice, a Canadian nonprofit organization that takes international students along with world-renowned scientists on exploration expeditions to an Antarctica once a year. She was accepted to be the youngest person to go on this expedition to Antarctica. This experience made her eyes open up even more to the world around her and gave her the desire to communicate to a wide audience through film to storytell for change. She also got to be part of a TV program, Aviator for a Day, that inspired her to get a pilot license and became the youngest certified Indian pilot in the world. Malika's desire to promote woman empowerment through her love of outdoor adventures made her start a non-profit organization when she was just 16 years old and is still here today, called Kyra. Empowerment through action that inspires underprivileged and abused teenage village girls to swim, cycle, horseback ride, climb mountains, kayak, and sail. Kyra gives the opportunity for girls to push themselves to the limits and make them stronger. She went to college to study political science, but soon left to start working as a wildlife researcher at Felix Creations. She had directed and collaborated to her first wildlife film documentary, talking about the beauty of the tiger, called Wogaba, Provider, Destroyer, Dee. This 16 watch film is a journey through time that unravels the mysteries of the tiger and documents the current landscape and challenges of how man and tiger need to coexist together in the same terrain of the wild reserve. At the age of 18, she then applied for National Geographic Talent Grant and was fortunate to be awarded to work on a TV series called Living with Predators. 
Living with Predators is a three-part television series that documents the stories of the real protectors of big cat conservation in India. Tribal Communities Through each episode, Malika Boz travels to tell the story of ex-poachers, tribal communities, and forest guards that make the conversation of lions, leopards, and tigers possible in India. This presenter Bay series aims to inspire an understanding that neighbors of big cats are the biggest advocates for protection. And with them on board, everybody wins. She was awarded the National Geographic War Talent Brissery and was able to attend the Wild Screen Festival in Britzel, England. Green Oscars. This provided her the opportunity to collaborate and connect with other international environmentalists, such as herself. She also worked with Discovery Channel and Animal Planet on a series called On the Brink, which talks about endangered species in India and how important all of these species are. She was also awarded the prestigious National Youth Award for all of her work from the Indian government, her outstanding contribution in the field of social service. She is currently working on an investigative documentary film, which tracks the illegal trafficking of mana rays, boulder rays, across Southeast Asia. This documentary explains how mana rays are being killed off to almost extinction at fishing ports just for their gill plates, due to the myth of this being for Chinese medicine. Here's a little snippet of the film, soon to be released. I've been tracking the strait down, living with fishermen, and witnessing the hunt out at sea. You see all of these scar marks? Probably struggled for quite a while before it gave up. My investigation has taken me to places that I could have never imagined. We got our information through a source that there are some contraband items which are being transported in a vehicle. I am thousands of kilometers away from the east coast of India, where these gill plates were sourced from, at the Indo-Myanmar border. And looking at these bags that represent over 40 to 50 animals, I'm only beginning to understand the numbers and the transnational scale of this trade. I've been to customs warehouses in remote border towns and tracked down middlemen. They are a student researcher. So I hand over to you. Burma se kahan pe jaate hain? And I've gone undercover in the biggest market for wildlife products in the world, China. Here, the trade is massive. The risk's large and the challenge quite something. Thank you, sir. So in India, they say, no, we don't want this. We want to protect animals. Yeah, but it's bad for our business. Like, there's no need for surgery. Once you've reduced that population down to 50, 20, 10 percent of its of its natural levels, you're looking at decades and decades for it to recover, if if ever. The deeper you dig, the bigger it gets. This is the heart of the illegal wildlife trade and the supply chain points straight back home. Malika Vaz might seem like an unreachable prodigy for all the lifetime experiences she has already earned thus far. But Malika Vaz just really followed her passion, worked hard and believed in her mantra to find purpose within her sport to become an advocate for the protection of her community and with the planet. We all have an S to promote change. As our world continues to face social, economic, and environmental issues, we must create what we want to see in ourselves, in our community, and the world around us now. We just need to seek out, educate ourselves, and create opportunities. Beneath Your Wings by Angelina Penaltza Mendez. The voice and actions of young people make an impact. You should never be told to sit back. If you work hard enough, your passions will come true. It's time to make the old makings into the new. All you need is the wind beneath your wings to fly. 
Be an advocate for your community and the world will thrive.